out the way a little bit. Don't tell me what to do. I'm filming. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Spalding, still with PJ Audits on my left. Hello! And we come to have a look at Bridge Farm. Now we noticed on Google Maps, this place is absolutely massive and it looks quite new. A big greenhouse, I do believe. So what do they grow here? And why do they have such high security with this amazing fence, the gatehouse, the barriers? Well, I think it's uh, time to find out, shall we? Now you'll notice the wind is very, very strong. And the rain has just started to die off a little bit. So we'll have a look. Now we can see Fresh Link. Pull it up. And we can also see a few staff members over there, probably the designated smoking area. And in the back of this Fresh Link trailer, we have, well, a stack of trays of some sort with caster wheels at the bottom. I'm not too sure. We've also got these villages here. Got a vehicle just backing on actually. Warehouse, loads notice. and loads of pallets, knocking about grey pallets this time. And a large area just there, glassed area, which looks like to be, um, well, surely that's the greenhouse. That must be where product is growing. Loads of offices across the top and a nice reception there though which echoes the name that we can see outside Bridge Farm Security are now on their way I wonder whether they will be professional or not Sorry. Do you mind? Let's move out the way a little bit Don't tell me what to do I'm filming Sorry about that. Won't it? Sorry about that. Um, while you're here, while you're here, would you just give us a little bit of information for the video that we're making? A what information? Um, what do you grow? Plants, supermarkets. What type? Any flower in you. Um, you know, a lot of bedding plants, summer plants, uh, Christmas plants. Uh, point, you know, poinsettias and um, carnations, croissants, tulips. All oh, right. Yeah. Do you ever get to see them yourself? Not me. Well, I do and I don't sort of thing because I do the security part of it. All right. Because we, we need to um, see uh, whatever's being grown. And I, I thought that we might be able to do it with the video with the drone fly over and just zoom in. I'd rather you ask permission if it's possible. I mean, I'll give you a name and a contact. Oh, we, we don't no, have any mobile do signal. We're, we're just going to do it while we're here, but we don't have any mobile signal. Um, we can wait and talk to somebody in person if you want to get them, it's up to you. But we're not, we normally leave you alone, and normally you guys leave us alone, and we just film from the outside, we get the drone over, we get all the footage we need, but we never really want to interfere with you. No, no, but I, you know, I would have appreciated if you'd have just gone to the cabin and say, we want to like to take some pictures, would you object to that? Do you have the authority to allow us to uh, take pictures? Um, I don't, but I could ask if it would be okay with okay. people I up, you see. 
It's a windy day today, isn't it? I know, not a very good day to do it. How old is the place? Sorry? How old is the place? It's only about three years old. Have you been working here from the outset? Yeah, yeah. Right, and you've never had nobody take photos of it? Um, not really, no. Well, I'm surprised at that. Bit, unless we've had visitors in the daytime, kind of thing. It must have cost millions, this place. Where they take them around, the, you know, the factory, the growing area and everything like All that. Right. How far back does it extend? Uh, well, it's a 90 acre site in total, or 23 acres still not finished. And they're growing 24 7, are they? Virtually, yeah. Because in our. Because obviously we have the boilers, boiler houses. Yeah. That's run by wood chip and um, fuel. And they're going 24 7, or depending on temperatures outside. Plants have to have a certain temperature to, uh, to grow, not die, like poinsettias. They need to be 15 degrees in the winter. <laughs> Do you know the um, the wood, the wood chip? Is that a waste product of somewhere? Yeah, it's, it's, it's from, um, I think it's Mount Mowbray it comes from. And do you buy it? The company buys it, yeah. But it's very cheap, isn't it? Yeah, but I think the government and are involved in the sort of thing where they subsidize. Yeah, yeah. So the old place must be really low, to, to, like cheap to run, with all that going on. Yeah, you but got if, solar they burn, panels? if they're burning uh, wood chip, it's um, it's the carbon footprint I'd be worried about. I think. Well, the, the, is that the exhaust for the the burner, the boiler? That's one for one of the boilers. Yeah. Oh, I can see two. So you got two yeah. boilers. Well, yeah, that's all in there is a boiler. Right. I'm sorry, I can't hear very well. I know. Yeah, it's such a loud. Wind. And we've got one oh, down God. the side there, another one that size of this as well. So you've got two boiler houses kind of thing. That's running the, uh, the unit. So you reckon that if we approached officially, which we never normally do, we might be able to get a look inside? Um, I would have to ask somebody first if they want to oh, that would be, time. That would be brilliant. I can't promise them. Oh, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. We, we wouldn't have expected that. We was only going to be here for about 20 minutes and get... I might see if I can get a couple of tomato plants as well, haven't we? <laughs> see what you can do. Uh, obviously, we don't That's expect it. thing they do. They do a lot of vegetable plants. All right. And they have uh, plants coming in from different growers to meet the orders for the supermarkets. They go out on trolleys. Yeah, there's plenty of growers around here, isn't there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we was... things have been the last three or four years with the COVID and the cost of living and things like that. I mean, yeah. You know, people are struggling. Have you heard what British sugar are now growing in their greenhouse? Cannabis. Cannabis. And when we saw this place and it got recommended for us to film, because we film places that people are interested in and they want to know more about, so we come and get some footage and we sort of find out and then put the video on and make it interesting, you know. Yeah, and we, yeah. I thought it might be one of these new cannabis farms. Because security, high fence, brand new, millions of pounds invested. Government, government have got uh, an involvement in this place, haven't they? They have the, uh, where the boiler is. I mean, that's as much as I know for the wood chip. Uh, I don't believe that these pay for the wood chip, or they do, then the government give yeah. them back. It might have just been like an incentive, a sort of, please go down this route because we're trying to push it and it, it yeah, looks good yeah. and you can be our like test case sort of thing. Well, it's not only that, if it's an area where there's high unemployment, it gives yeah. a lot of people jobs. Yeah, it? Well, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah. So it turns out just to be plants. Wow, must be a lot of money in plants then. Well, I remember my boss saying to me after I'd been here about a couple of months, he says, there's money in plants, Michael. That was his word. Must be, yeah, yeah. And there is. Yeah, there is. Well, sorry about the initial approach. Um, can you understand from our point of view, though, that we didn't want to interfere with you? We didn't want to... By coming to ask permission, it's sort of... Um, you might be busy and we... To be honest, some people might even say no. And do you know if you do say no, there's, there's no, no law outside to, to say I that... I know you're not on the actual premises. Oh, is, is that... Well, the other thing as well is we don't go, we don't like to go onto your premises. 
without permission. So that's why we stood here and why we're not down at your barrier. Yeah. You know, and why we didn't approach the security. Yeah, that's, 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 that's part of it. Yeah. Well, I'll ring somebody now to see if they can. All right. They do have time to show you around. Yeah. I, if may, not, you may have to do it another time. Yeah. Tell them that it might be too windy for the drone, so I might not be able to do that part. You know, because because I mentioned the drone, didn't I, with yeah, the camera? Yeah. Because is it a glass roof? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be brilliant. Then I could zoom right in. Oh, yeah. this bloody wind. It's, it's shaded top the roof. It's not clear glass. You see some colours though, wouldn't you? Like. if the sun's too hot they have to put them across to there to stop the heat coming out yeah, is it so like they don't get too hot yeah, yeah. is it like an automatic thing that goes over when a temperature's here i can imagine it's all technology to the yeah, max yeah. here so, i'll yeah. computerize i'd love to see inside but i know there's no promises but if you want to make a phone call we'd appreciate that yeah i'll go on, I'll, I'll, say, I'll go and speak to somebody see if they can do or maybe arrange for another day where you've got where they've got time and you would have time as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. We're in the area, so why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, here's our security gentleman now. I can't really do anything today, but if you used to leave your names, right, and a, a contact number, when they have the open days, oh yeah, okay. They will, they will contact. Will you they be them. online? The yeah. open days. Will they announce them online? I doubt it. Okay. Doubt well, it. my email address is DJ A U D I T S T Tango Sierra DJ Audits at Gmail dot com. Yeah, and my name's DJ. DJ. Yeah. Nice and easy for you there. Yeah, if you want to, let me know if the DJ, next yeah. If you like DJ, oh, no, oh, then, okay, then yeah. he'll let me know. Um, His name's PJ, that's all. DJ and PJ. Okay, then. We're twins. We're not. Yeah, you're looking at <laughs> But quite a few people watch our videos, um, and if it meant that we could put the company in a good light then it would be beneficial for everybody wouldn't it I would imagine so or it would help way, yeah. yeah so there you go thank you so much for yeah, being well, uh, professional um, so what I'll do I'll pass this on to the uh, MD and then um, as soon as they have organised in an open day they'll send you an email to say I'm telling you you're welcome oh, that's, that's brilliant okay. brilliant thank you so much okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Wow, look at that trailer. Now, that looks a little bit different to me, PJ. The back yeah, of it. The, the double decker again. Where's the door? Uh, it looks like... Well, it's a curtain sider for a start. No door. Well, there's probably into the door on it. Right, okay. So it could be side-loaded. A trailer without a back door. But Pallet Network are now entering the site. Another one where it's far too windy to get the drone up. The wind is getting worse. Isn't it? Yeah, the wind is getting worse. We know what they do. There's nothing else to see. I think it's a case of hiding a key ring and moving on on this one. Yeah. So if I can find any photos of the inside of the place or any photos of the product, the flowers, anything at all, I'll put it on the screen now. The location of the DJ Audits key ring on this video is just there, look. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. I do apologise that I can drone footage today, but you can just see the grass. Look, no, this is ground level. I dread to think how gusty it is up there. But he started off a bit uh, shaky, didn't he? Telling us what to do while we're outside. But he soon turned it round. No problems with that gentleman. Told us all about the place. I hope you could hear what he was saying. He was very quietly spoken. 
But that's it. Let's go find something else. If you have enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.